All right, let's talk about how to record yourself drawing cars or drawing anything. It's really hard sometimes to uh, get some good footage of yourself drawing because if you're drawing like this, it's hard to have a camera over your shoulder. So sometimes it's like way sideways like this or other times it's like way crooked like that so you can't really get a good image. Here's the right way to do it. We're getting ready to launch a whole new series of car drawing tutorials. So I wanted to show you how I've got this set up and how you can reproduce this sort of setup no matter what kind of camera you have. Um, here's how to get a good effect uh, without having it having to draw any differently than you normally do. So first just get a table and put whatever you're gonna draw right in the middle. Alright make sure it's sturdy and make sure it's uh, somewhere in the middle of a room where you can set up a bunch of stuff. Uh, next thing mount your camera on some sort of rig like this. Alright so we've got one tripod like this and then a um, sort of a PVC crossbar down to another tripod like that. And I've got my camera hooked on the middle of this um, PVC thing on a, I just kind of threw it together, but you could even use a bookshelf, you can use a clamp or like a um, one of those gorilla tripod things. Get your camera on it facing straight down and um, don't worry, it's going to look upside down, alright? You can see in the monitor um, what I'm doing here is showing up here but it's upside down. Don't worry about it. That's how you're going to get the correct um, view of what you're doing, like a cooking show. The thing you're going to have to do when you get into your editor is flip it the right side up. All right. So don't worry about the about the um, footage getting captured upside down. You're going to flip it when you get it into your editor. Um, but that's the only way that you're going to get um, a good result. See, because now I've got all this space to draw and spread out and put all my stuff without a camera trying to poke over my shoulder. Um, that's the best way to do it. And again, we're shooting DSLR HD cable into an external monitor. Um, you may not have anything that fancy. You may just be using your iPhone. All right. So even if you just have your iPhone, set it up on something so that it's pointing straight down. And um, also, we're running a mic over here, so uh, we're getting good audio pointing right at you know whoever's drawing. You're going to be basically looking at the mic like that. Um, for lighting. The worst thing you want to do is just have your overhead lights just kind of, that's all you're going to do. You've got to blow this thing out with light. So we've got a uh, work light from the um, auto parts store. And then we've got a fluorescent, uh, you know, home kind of um, light thing. And then the key is these diffusers. The diffuser helps um, spread out the light more evenly so that it's not as harsh and you don't get as many shadows. So if we look now you know, it's pretty much even. It's bright enough, and we're going to brighten it up a little bit when we get it into our editor. Um, these are 250 watts, but um, it might even be good to get 500 watts just because um, the lighter, the better. So I've got one on each side to give it a balanced light so there's no direct shadow. And if you don't have an umbrella to diffuse it, just get a sheet. Just get a plain old pillowcase or a sheet or um, something like that. You don't need to spend all this money on a fancy umbrella. Maybe you have a white umbrella or you could get one from the dollar store, but all the umbrella does is basically diffuse the light. So we've got our super bright um, halogens in here, but um, then what we need to do is just make the light soft so we're not getting any shadows. All right, so those are the basics. Other than that, draw like you normally would. Just make sure your camera is fixed on here. Um, again, I took a tripod, dismembered the head, and then hooked the head on, screwed it into a PVC cross pipe like that. And then I hooked the PVC cross pipe onto two tripods. All right, so this is a lot of junk, a lot of gear. It doesn't look very pretty. Looks like I'm trying to launch a missile or something. Um, but you can rig this up using anything from a book uh, a bookcase to some shelves. Um, you could get it, uh, clamp it onto something. I bet if you rummage through your kitchen and garage, you could find enough stuff to make this happen. All right, if you don't have a DSLR video, just whatever you're going to shoot on video, find a way to hook it up like this, and then in your editing program, um, flip it upside down. Other than that, turn off all the sound, turn off the air conditioner and the printer and the computer speakers and whatever else you can turn off so that you've got a good, um, quiet sound environment. And if you have an external mic, just get it as close as possible and you can create uh, a much easier environment for capturing your how to draw stuff. So if you're making how to draw videos, send them my way. Let's take a look. Bye-bye.